Hey you guys, good morning and welcome back to the channel. So it's that very important time. It's the first day of the month. It's also Friday, which is really good. This has all landed at a very good time. <clears throat> I was saying about this all kind of happening around the same time, seeing a lot of different burning going on. And there's even more burning going on at the moment, although I don't agree with it. And I do believe it is an attack on this chain video coming later on today on the subject it's burning. And if all of you choose to follow that route and do it, that's totally up to you. I'm not going to contest it. I do think it's a siphoning attack. I'll give my point. I'll let you know what I think. I'll give you my honest opinion. As far as that, it's up to everybody else what they want to do. So like I was saying, it's a very important day. And that is because Binance provide their burn today. And I did say it was going to be a big one just because of all of the different trading that's going on. There's a lot of substantial movement in our market. Now, with that being said, the way these coins are generated for burning are from trading fees. So the more people that dibble dabble with LUNC on Binance, the better. And something um, I've come to realize is a lot of people in crypto are from the United States, like a huge amount. And the fact that LUNC isn't listed there is probably something we should try and pursue uh, in 2024. I think it'd be quite important for us to, because we're listed on there, we're listed in a lot of different places, but to get listed in America, I think there'd be a lot of hoops we'd have to jump through, but it's not like we're TFL. We're a completely different chain and we deserve that kind of recognition. And hey, I don't understand why Binance would not want to help us on that matter. So before we jump over to the main subject of this video, we have got Terra Luna Classic reaches 100 billion LUNC burn landmark. This is really good. A lot of people, they, they do the whole, oh, well, if I do the maths on that, it's going to take X amount of years. I don't think like that. All I know is within our lifetime, these coins will reach a point of normality for us and we'll probably end up locking the supply and so no more can be burned and no more can be minted because once we reach a certain point it's going to be pretty silly to keep burning your coins down and I see very small blockchains doing this at the beginning of their lifetime uh, trying to appease the community through burning and it just doesn't do anything I think everybody's starting to realize that hopefully it generates FOMO and that's where I think the price action comes into things the FOMO behind everything but like I said, to see it reach 100 billion, it is a milestone and it's a landmark moment for us. And we just keep pushing forward. So let's look at the burn itself quickly before we go over to these USTC burns. I want to show you we've got 2.2 billion LUNC burn. This is great. Like I said, this was around the number we expected here on the channel. It's definitely a good start to the month for us. So 2.2 billion burn, guys. I'm so excited to give Lunk Dash back to the community, like so excited. Um, we've been doing a lot of work, a lot of testing, a lot of different things, and we've added some crazy stuff to it that you're going to be absolutely mind blown with. So do keep an eye out for that. It is coming, I think, later on next week. Um, once it's back up, we're never shutting it down ever again. That will be there for you forever moving forward. So like I was saying, there's a lot of USTC burning going on at the moment. I kind of want to talk about it before this video drops later on today where I give my perspective on it because we're seeing a lot of USTC burns, a lot of them just within the span of probably a refresh of this two USTC burns going through. And this is all part of this We Mint Cash thing, which I thought was a scam. It's not a scam. In my, in my opinion, it's a siphoning attack. Like I said, you can feel however you feel about it but ultimately that's what it is and that's what it's going to lead to but whatever you want to follow is down to you and what you're seeing is a lot of people are choosing to burn their USTC through this we mint cash drop so they can get two coins in return and it's it's kind of sad to tell you the truth to see all of this being burned and our chain's not actually going to prosper from it because if this was a route which is likely taking a strong effect. As you can see, these are all USTC burns. These are all people who are doing this, right? If this was the case and this is what it was going to lead to, you may as well just done a reverse split. You may as well done a reverse split and uh, pegged it to like a penny. Like literally, you may as well just pegged it to a penny or a, whatever you want to call it, a penny or a cent. Um, the chain's not going to prosper from this at all. What this is going to do is more or less divide our community even more than it's already divided now into a faculty of two wings. 
the LUNC holders and those who ch chose to burn their USTC um, to go join the We Mint Cash. And we do see a lot of people dibble dabbling um, in these kind of things. And hey, I'm all up for it. But when we're all standing by this blockchain and it's it's a causation of effect, which you're not really going to realize it until it's too late, until all of a sudden the majority of the USTC has just been destroyed. This new chain spun up as two new assets and everybody's leaving the Lunar Classic chain because this has worked out better for them. And I think over time, you're going to see a slow bleed out for USTC. How that's going to affect the price, I just don't know. Because like I was saying at the beginning, right, all of this burning's absolutely great, but it's not doing anything. Like it's literally not doing anything. We burned like, I mean, there must be about 10% of the supply has been burned within the past week, let's say. And nothing's happened. You know, we all expected this big burn, like we're already always made out for it to be. And I kind of warned people against this and gave the historical video many times of saying why we shouldn't burn the USTC. We should try and find ways to generate and open liquidity pools. It leaves us in a very, very strange situation where price doesn't really do anything. Um, all of the USTC liquidity is just going to be exiting, burning, and those users will be move, moving off to a new blockchain. So as much as it's a good start to the month, we've also got this very strange dilemma going on where a lot of people are just not going to care. They're, they're just not going to care because ultimately crypto is about gains and a lot of people are here for gains. And, you know, I'm going to stand by this blockchain until it makes or breaks at, at the end of this. And if we allow the chain to consistently come under attack like this, this is what's going to happen if you support these kind of things and you don't really think too far forward and think about the repercussions for the blockchain itself of losing all of those users, losing all of the USTC liquidity and losing everything that's bound to USTC. This thing's designed to kill us uh, more or less, but you know, it's a really interesting situation. Let me know in the comment section if you have been diving into this. I can tell a lot of you are because we can see the burn transactions going through like crazy. But once again, keep an eye on price today. Look at what's happening around us because you need to ask yourself a lot of questions with the siphoning attacks, with the chain not having none of its own tech, none of its own utilities and third parties literally privatizing everything. BTC moved and almost reached a new, new all-time high before the halving event, right? Everything was running. Meme coins are running. Solana was running. Everything was running apart from LUNC. And we're matching the characteristics on the chart of XRP. If you watch both of the charts, we move together. And that's not a good sign if you're mimicking XRP before the bull run. And as much as I love XRP and every dog's got its day, I don't want to see Luna Classic in the same position. I don't think everybody sees all of these different things that are going on. They're just kind of aping into it and sort of going, yes, let's, let's do it. Not thinking about that chain of causation and causation chain effects, everything mixed in. It's it's so important. But like I said, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you're doing. Let me know if you're dibble dabbling in this. Guys, the giveaway has now ended here and I've moved it to the Patreon. The YouTube rules, regulations and stuff, they weren't happy, so I had to move it. Moved it to the Patreon. The prize pool is going to be split between two people each month, right? So that means two people in the Patreon each month have the chance, right, of getting around five, six hundred dollars in cryptocurrency. Their memberships cost them $12.99. They get alpha drops, which have led them to 7x gains. 700% gains overall have been made, or you've had the opportunity to make those gains inside the Patreon. And there's a lot of stuff that we can do there that we can't do here on YouTube. So like I said, I'm moving that over there. That's now part of that. I think there's like 30 people in there. So you've got a real high chance of winning a high amount of cryptocurrency, which would cover your Patreon subscription for probably about 12 months. And that's going to happen every month, two winners. So, you know, consider getting involved in that. Consider checking out the alpha drops. Consider drop checking out all of our different crypto calls because they are amazing. And I can stand by that because they've really paid off for us and myself. If you've got LUNC, you can delegate with us. It's important to delegate with validators who care and do stuff for the blockchain. That's why I'm bringing back LUNC Dash because a lot of people seem to have forgotten what I am capable of. Now, Guys, 
If you're not using the trading indicator, consider using it. Check out our videos here on the channel, links to that at the end of the description, uh, sorry, at the end of the video and links to all of this in the description below. Catch you in the next one. Shoo!